Hello mates, Ron Allen here, your backyard adventurer here for another new adventure out in the great open. All right mates, I know it's been a while since I've been on an adventure and let me tell you why. So, the last few months or years I would say, I have been on a quest to see many new exotic locations. Now, a few of the locations I actually ended up going to were such places as, ready for it? Ready? All right, mates. I've been to Greenland, the Arctic, and Australia, mites. Yes, I went to my native land. My native land was quite interesting, you know, mites. And it was quite interesting and quite awesome. And it was really a wonderful experience, mites. I got to see a lot of exotic creatures, animals, and people, mites, that were very interesting and awesome. So as I take you on this new adventure, mites, it's been a long time coming. And let's hope that we can find a really cool, awesome creatures of the land. So as we take our adventure, mites, hmm, where should we go? What should we look for, mites? Are we going to see anything interesting? I don't know. All right, mites. So we have come to a conjuncture of a quite an interesting and new finding, mites. So this finding that I have just found is a new type of ancient wall. Now this wall, I'm not too sure when it was created or built, mites, but it really is an interesting and amazing wall. So as I pan to it, mates, let's keep an eye out and think about where this wall could have came from. As you can see here, let's go to it. Oh, mates, look at that. Look at that awesome ancient wall. Oh, yes. Such an awesome ancient wall. All right. Yeah. Amazing, mates. Oh, yeah. So deep in this forest, mates, is this awesome ancient wall. This wall, I have come to realize that it's actually the Great Troy Wall of Gettysburg. Now, not that Gettysburg you're thinking of, mates. Not the war Gettysburg. But the great town in Georgia that a lot of people don't talk about. So this great wall was created by a gentleman that actually was named Gettysburg. And then, unfortunately, because he was from Gettysburg, he was known as Gettysburg Gettysburg. So they actually built this wall kind of as a memorial to him, mates. I don't know why they did, but because his, he was from Gettysburg in Georgia and had the name Gettysburg, he was considered quite a magnificent man. But I still don't know why they, you know, erected this for him. But I heard that this wall was standing quite a few walls and a lot of crazy people too, mates. Yes, yes. So as we travel further on a trip in the great north of Troy, we search for new and exotic places, mates. We look for creatures. We look for odd things, mates. I don't know how odd, but very odd things. That's right, mates. Odd. Odd, mates. That is right. Anyways, mates. So I can see here behind me is the great forest of the Troy. Now, the great Troy, I would say, of the forest is actually an ancient forest where many people have committed suicide. Kind of like the suicide forests over in Japan. Now, this particular forest here, mates, hasn't had as many as I'd say as the Japan one, but has been quite an interesting and definitely a deadly forest, mates. Very sad, very sad. All right, mate, as, so as we have traveled more, we have come across another awesome landmark that is quite intriguing and interesting, mates. So this quite landmark behind me, as you can see here, as I pan, is a great American industry workshed. Now this workshed, mates, is quite an interesting workshed because some of the great masters 
of the great American Confederacy have actually been in this side the shed. So as we go on here, let's go in and look a little bit there, mates. As you can see there, oh my goodness, what is that? Oh my goodness, look at that. Quite interesting. Interesting. So this shed, like I said, was of that great importance. Now, a few of the great famous people that have been here, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, just to name a few, even Benjamin Franklin made his way to this place. Quite an amazing place. And you can see there, surprisingly for how old it is, it's quite still intact. And I think it's quite an awesome looking, amazing backyard artifact, mate. So amazing. So amazing. So as we journey on more, mates, we have seen the great force of Troy. We've seen the great Confederate shed. We've seen a few things. But what else are we going to find on this journey, mates? Stay tuned and we'll see here. Let's take a walk, mates. Oh yes. Oh yes. The great walk to the great unknown, mates. Oh yes. We have now made it into a new era and a new jungle, I should say, or forest, mates. So this great forest that we have just encountered is not the true, true Troy forest, mates. This is actually another forest that encompasses that forest, mates. This forest is actually called the Green Farm Forest. That's right, mates. The Green Farm Forest. Oh my goodness, mate. I think I just stepped in mud. Oh, great. Anyways, as we adventure on, mates, as you can see behind me, this great forest is quite amazing. Look at all these awesome trees, mates. Now, these trees, if you're not aware of it, are actually really amazing indigenous to this place, to this country, to this forest, mates. So these amazing trees are actually part of the great tree saplings. That's right, mates. The great tree saplings. Oh, yeah. Look at them, mates. They're so awesome and so amazing. So amazing. All right, mates. Let's get out of this forest before it kills us. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We're seeing great, great craziness. Great, crazy people. Greatness of greatness. All right, mates. I heard some weird noises, so we need to evade. We need to find our way back to civilization. All right, mates. As we keep going on, as we disparage this place, as we get out of there, as we move on, we find crazy creatures. Crazy, crazy creatures, mates, that can... Take us on to a new adventure. Now, as we move on, mates, as we take our stand, we go on the adventure more and see the adventure more. Let's keep our eyes out, mates, for anything interesting. All right, backyard adventures, we have come to another interesting place that's quite interesting to be seen. So behind me, mites, is an ancient old house that's been around since 1773. Now, this particular place, as you can see here, you can see a porch. Now, this porch was actually recently built in the last 30 years. Now, this awesome porch, though, was actually a convenient place that was built to, for people to gather here at this ancient, cool, almost burial ground, mites. As you can see here, this is very Native American, as you can see here. Not, you know, not to be um, mixed up with, you know, the, you know, Indian people of India, but the Native Americans that were here on America soil before us Americans got here. Now, this awesome uh, Native American place was quite interesting, quite appealing. They even sometimes hid in there to get away from crazy people or people that might bring us some craziness, mates. As you can see here, mate, they have some kind of ancient ritual machine there. I don't know what it is. It looks quite 
ancient thermites. It could be something of some form of cooking machine or a uh, instrument for killing someone. I'm not sure, mites. But you can see there, it's quite a sophisticated and big machine. Let's go up closer and take a look as we crawl up there. Let's look at her, mites. Oh, look at mites. That is quite an interesting machine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I believe, actually, originally it was made to destroy dragons, mates. Now, a lot of people can say, dragons don't exist. Well, mate, let me tell you, I've seen them in my adventures. And you should keep your minds up there and letting know that they do exist, mates. Keep your eyes out for one on a future backyard adventure, mates. That's right. So as we travel more in the great backyard adventure, we see more of a great backyard that's quite interesting, quite appealing, quite amazing, mates. Now you're probably wondering, what is he doing on this backyard adventure? What is his purpose? You know, mates, what is any backyard adventure's purpose but to find amazing, cool things, mates? So, as I travel more, I see more interesting and fun things, mates. Well, look at here. What is behind me here, mates? Interesting. Some form of some crazy ancient, I think, torture device. I don't know what they do with this piece there. Or those pieces there, mates. But they were quite instrumental in devising their torture back in those days. Now, most of this land, I believe, was inhabited for many, many years. Maybe even thousands of years, mates. Thousands of years. As you can see here, mates, there's quite a bit of bugs around. They've been quite annoying this whole time. So, hopefully, eventually, they won't be as annoying. And fear the Avengers. Oh, bugs, bugs, bugs. They're part of nature, mates. Gotta live with them. As we adventure on more, mates, we see more and great, ancient, and amazing trees, walls, land, many cool things, mates. Keep your eyes out for more interesting things as we go along this episode, mates. Let's keep right, going. Mates. So as we have traveled on our adventures, we have come across another awesome and amazing artifact, mates. Now, the artifact I'm about to show you is actually called the Ancient Tree of, wait for it, Anubis. You're, so you're thinking probably, wait a second, isn't that an ancient Egyptian god? Well, yes, this tree actually was a part of his history, mites. So as you can see here, it actually has fallen down the Great Tree of Anubis. So as you can see, Finally, the great king Anubis, or Pharaoh I should call him, was able to finally go to the ancient burial grounds now that his tree has fallen. As long as his tree was up, he was able to not go to that new plane, mates. That's right. As you can see here, look at this. Look at the termite damage that was caused. Wow. That is insane. Really crazy, mates. But it's such a beautiful tree, the tree of Anubis was. Another cool fact about Anubis is that when he was able to go to the new plane, his spirit was finally able to go to the other side of the great, great plains, mates. So now he is a free spirit, which is really awesome and wonderful, mates. So as we travel more on adventure here, we have come across many awesome things, mates. Lots of great things. We got the tree Anubis. We got the great American shed. We have the great Native American offerings. And the great American native of the screen porches, mates. That's right. So we have seen quite a few amazing things on this adventure, mates. And I appreciate, as always, you coming along with me, mates. So until our next adventure, mates. Keep classy, and I'll see you on the other side.